for me as well as for my business but I feel like I'm not ready to get a space can I go get a space? Yes, but I feel like I'm not mentally prepared for that right now. I'm not mentally prepared to... Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all should already know who it is, or you should know who is the CEO by Tasty, and I am back with another video if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not new welcome back y'all i'm so excited to record this video a packaging order video for youtube i haven't done one of these in a minute like a packaging chit chat type of video and i'm super excited so i do have about 50 orders to pack i'm not gonna pack all of it i'm just gonna pack you know a, a, enough amount like you know while i chat with you guys and update you guys with what's been going on with my business so this first order is from angela my color lash sale is currently going on so these are orders from that she got five blonde lashes my color lashes are on um this side of the room as y'all see this is how my stuff is organized i do have like if you just happen to come across this video I do have videos where I show you guys like a mini business room tour, show you guys how my stuff is organized, talk about where my stuff is from. I also have an Amazon Business Essential storefront link in my description box. It's always there. So if you are interested in the exact, you know, tripod, the business label paper, printer paper I have, all of these items are in my Amazon storefront and the link to that is in the description. So my packaging, my bubble mailers are from the post office. I get these from the post office for free. All my stuff should priority. So these are what I use to package my stuff. But y'all, I just recorded a video like because I've been so unmotivated lately. I'm not feeling as motivated as I was this morning. I'm really just excited for my birthday plans. And I don't know, in this video, I kind of want to talk about like i don't know finding my purpose because i feel like that's what i've been doing lately like am i the only one like y'all let me know in the chat am i the only one that feels like i still really don't know what my purpose is <laughs> like i don't know if that sounds weird but i don't know yeah i still because you know like when i went to school you know how you go to school you know what you want to be when you grow up i wanted to be a teacher and um now that I'm an adult, it's like I'm trying to figure out where am I, you know, where do I want to live? Because, for example, y'all know I was born and raised in Queens, but I, I've been living in Dallas. My parents, my family moved here about eight, nine years ago. I've been living in Dallas since I was 16. So this is where I've been living, but I feel like this is not where I want to live. And yes, I just got a house here, but I feel like this is not where my purpose is. My purpose is is not to be in Dallas. But then it's like, I don't know where my purpose is. It's like, is it in New York? Is it in another state? I don't know, y'all. So I feel like now that I'm about to turn 25 this upcoming week, I'm more on figuring out what my purpose is. And to print out my um, labels, I use a Rolo printer and my papers from Amazon, like I said. But I don't know, y'all. Let me know if y'all are like me and you're trying to figure out what your purpose is. It's like, I know I'm meant to be a CEO. I know I'm meant to be a boss. But I'm still trying to figure out my purpose in life. I'm trying to figure out. It's like I see where my life is going or where my life is going to be. I'm just waiting to get there. I think that's what my problem is. It's like, okay, I see myself, you know traveling living my best life i see my future i see my youtube channel growing but i'm just take, trying to take the steps to get there if that makes sense but other than that my business has been doing good i've been running sales all month um what else has been going on um new lip gloss colors which they're over here somewhere i will have new lip gloss colors um, I'm excited to be selling lip glosses again. If you've been, you know, following me, subscribed, then y'all know I've, I've been selling lip gloss since 2019. I kind of stopped it and then I started back when I opened up a new business in 2021. Stopped that due to reasons. So now that I have a manufacturer, I'm able to sell lip gloss without having to deal with the mess, cleaning, and all that good stuff. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to provide that for y'all because people kept asking for me to bring the lip gloss back. So I am, you know, y'all, I'm about to turn my air on because, child, it's so hot in here. Give me one second. 
it's so hot in here so I'm about to adjust my air but um other than that what else is going on I want is yeah it's really like I got so much stuff I want to do for my business I'm really just waiting for everything to fall into place because y'all know I have over 35 lash options now it's already a lot to keep up with so it's like I want to start selling lash extensions I want to add more styles but I'm kind of running out of room. Not running out of room because my business already has two bedrooms in my house. Half my garage. Sometimes my front door. It's like my business is taking over my house. But I'm not ready to get a space yet. Even though other people may feel like she's ready, I'm not ready. I feel like I'm not ready. So this next order, she got four reds and three whites of the colored lashes. But yeah, I just, I just don't feel like I'm ready. Because it's like, even with me getting a sprinter van, like, y'all know, the more you're, like, even though if your business is doing well, the more things you do for your business, the more your expenses increase. So, like, now with me getting a sprinter van, that's another, you know, car insurance bill to add to the list. That's another car I have to worry about buying gas for. And I'm still trying to figure out, like, everything that I want to do with the Sprinter besides deliveries because I have so many ideas. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, the best option for me as well as for my business. But I feel like I'm not ready to get a space. Can I go get a space? Yes. But I feel like I'm not mentally prepared for that right now. I'm not mentally prepared to have to worry about other people because once... Once I decide to get a warehouse or, you know, a store front, that's a big responsibility because once I do that, I'm going to have to hire people. I'm not going to be the one there 24-7, so I'm going to have to hire somebody. I'm going to have to pay the bills, you know, water bill, light bill, all that stuff, and that's a whole lot of more expenses, and I personally feel like I'm not ready for that type of responsibility right now. Me personally, I'm not ready for that type of responsibility. Yeah, I still ain't found a spot for my vending machine. So it's like I got too much stuff on my plate to worry about. But at the same time, I'm trying to do all this stuff in my business. Yeah, I just need to get myself together. I don't know what it is. It's like I feel like us business owners, we be trying to do so much. And that's really what my problem is. I'm trying to get so much done. Like... Even though I've gotten a lot done in, in a short time and I'm about to be 25 and I've done a lot than, you know, other people that are around my age have done, I still feel like I need to slow down. I'm just trying to do all these things without taking my time and I need to take my time. Because it's a lot of decisions I've made in the past, even though it wasn't related to my business, like, you know, financial decisions that I've blown money on. And I'll talk about those things, you know, at a later time. And it's like, I should have, you know, I should have done more research. I should have paid attention. But I am getting better with that, though. I'm not going to lie. I am getting better with that because there were other business moves I wanted to get into. And I'm glad I did more research, you know, before I took that step and invested money. But I have made, you know, bad decisions in the past. And I don't want to do that again. So I'm just taking my time. So this next order, Alicia got an L509, a red and a white. Y'all know the same old, same old with me. You know, packing my orders. The color lashes are all the way over here. But I hope y'all are doing fine. I'm actually going to start going live on YouTube more. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I don't know, y'all. I be really outgrowing these social media apps. It was like at one point, like the first year and a half, almost two years of my business, I was live on Instagram. Then I transitioned to TikTok. And I'm, I feel like I've just outgrown both of them. So I want to try YouTube live. Excuse me, I want to try YouTube Live. I have gone live two or three times on here, but I think I want to go live more on YouTube because I do watch two people that be going live. So I don't know, yeah, I want to try going live on YouTube. And I feel like with me being live on YouTube, it will be more genuine because even though I'll have new people come across my live, I feel more comfortable answering certain questions than pe that people actually ask me that are subscribed versus, you know, Instagram or TikTok. Because with TikTok and stuff like that, 
I won't know if you're actually following me. You know how like when you go live on TikTok in the first five minutes you live, somebody asking for business tips, like you don't have a YouTube channel and stuff. I feel like People will be genuine on YouTube because if you're subscribed, I want to assume, you know, that you've watched my videos. So the questions you ask me is not going to be the same old, same old, how do I get orders? How do I do this? Like, I don't have videos on it. So I don't know, y'all. That's like one of my birthday kind of goals. Like once July hits, I'm going to try to start going live on YouTube maybe once a week. Maybe instead of going live on TikTok, I'll be going live on YouTube. And, you know, I'll just let TikTok know that I'm about to transition to YouTube. So if you subscribe, you subscribe. If you don't, you won't see me. So I'll just be coming on here, talking to y'all, um, packing orders on live and stuff like that. I really might do it this month because I'm planning to have a major lash sale the last week of June. Not the last week of June, next week. And I'm having a big sale on my birthday. So I'm going, I'm going to come back to a lot of orders. So I think... Um, I don't know. I think I may go live then on YouTube just so y'all can watch me pack some orders. That's probably what I'm going to do. Monday is a holiday, so the post office is not open. So I'm kind of glad, you know, that I get a little break of going to the post office. I mean, I still got to leave the house tomorrow because it's Father's Day. But um, I need to go get some more pink lashes. But I'm excited to get a break. So Jocelyn got one blonde, one green, one red, one white. But another thing, like another business update, y'all, I will start doing YouTube segments, promo segments for YouTube. So I'm like, like I said, this month, I'm kind of like preparing myself for everything that I'm trying to get into. So I've had a lot of businesses reach out to me in the past. I've been doing pre free promo so if you didn't take advantage of that you missed it so i'm gonna start doing youtube segments so if you want me to show off your brand in the beginning of my video or the end of my video middle of my video send a product i will have a cost associated with that and that will be like something that i'm starting to do and of course that would be another you know little source of income and um I'll be doing those and I'm going to have my flyers for stuff if you want me to do. I will also be doing promos on my personal page, Rika underscore forever. Be sure to follow. I'm going to put it up. I'll be doing promos on there. So if you sell clothes and you want me to do like a try on reel, I could do that for you. If you want me to do like a picture of post, I could do that too. So I'll be doing promos on my personal page. And of course, if I post it. On my personal page, I will share it to my business page, like in the story, so those viewers can still see it. So you'll still another thing I'm about to get back into doing are mentorships. So if you've been wanting to get a mentorship phone call with me, ask me business related questions, need me to look over to your, your website, etc. That is something else that I will be doing back. I was just, you know, waiting for the June sales to be over. So those will be back in July. Yeah, it's so much stuff I'm about to be doing. So I'm really just trying to, you know, prepare for all these things I'm about to do with my business. But I'm super excited, y'all, because I strongly believe that 2022 is my year. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done this year. And I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm happy for all the love and support I've been receiving from strangers. I love y'all. Like, I really, really love y'all. Y'all don't understand how much I love y'all. I'm excited to unbox my birthday gifts. So if you sent me a birthday gift, this video will probably be up on Monday. So if you send me a birthday gift, thank you so much. My Amazon birthday wish list is still up. So if you haven't got something and you wanted to give me something, the list is still up. You're not forced to buy me nothing, but y'all know how people are. My friend even said that. He was like, you know how people are when they see you talking about the gifts other people got you. They're going to be like, oh, I wish I should have known. So just leave the list up. And I'm like, either way, I planned on leaving it up. And I'm probably going to transition it to like um, from a birthday wish list to a business wish list. And I have like label paper and bubble wrap and stuff on there. So if you want to, you know, support my business you can you know give me something from there if you want no pressure but i'm super excited to unbox all my birthday gifts so if you did send me something 
If you got me something off my Amazon wish list, y'all, I cannot wait. Because if you don't know, I also have a all pink TikTok, which is my personal TikTok, which is my government name. I'll probably try to remember to link it in the description box as well. So almost everything on my Amazon wish list is pink. So I will be posting like different footage, like different videos every day. My TikTok is almost at 3K, so I'm excited about that. And also, um, the people that send me stuff, a lot of people send me pink stuff. So if you did send me something, not only will it be featured on my YouTube video, it will also be featured on Amazon. So... I hope y'all sent some good stuff so you know it could bring you some sales but again I appreciate y'all cuz y'all bought me more stuff than people in real life even last year y'all bought me more things than people in real life so I really appreciate y'all so that's another thing I'm looking forward to this week of course I'm looking forward to my birthday I hope it's a wonderful weekend peaceful weekend no drama type of weekend chill weekend but in the meantime I'm gonna get all these orders out like I said I will be having another lash sale this week um I don't know what day I might have the last sale, y'all, because the last sale is really supposed to be Friday, but I'm not going to be home Friday, so I may start the sale Wednesday, only because if I start the sale on Thursday, I'm going to be drained for my birthday weekend. So I'm thinking I may start the sale Wednesday at midnight and be up Wednesday packing all those orders and getting everything out. That way Thursday could kind of be like a chill day because Thursday I got to go get my nails done. I got to go do a whole bunch of things and I just don't want to be drained. Like, you know, you don't want to be drained before the birthday activities have even started. So just make sure y'all are following on Instagram. If you are not, make sure you are, um, you know, subscribe for emails because emails will be sent out and all that good stuff. So if you are not subscribed, you definitely want to make sure that you are subscribed. Once um, all my birthday activity sales are over, the only way codes will be given is via email. So, um... After these birthday June sales, I'm not having no more sales until September 4th, which is my business anniversary. But I will be back in the habit of, you know, sending out weekly email codes to my email subscribers, maybe once a week, maybe twice a month. So be on the lookout for those. But in the meantime, y'all, she got 15 wholesale lashes and a butterfly lash. If you did not know, I now sell butterfly lashes. So if you're new here... Be sure to hit that subscribe button, you know, check out my website if you're interested in starting a lash business. I am a lash wholesaler. Affordable prices, make double the profit, you know the vibes. She just want a Aurora Crystal. But yeah, I feel like this video is getting a little too long. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this video is getting long. But if you watch this video to this point... I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. I'm going to pack this one order and this will be my last order I packed. Before. She ordered a L13, a H12, a Everyday Lash, a L11, and a Blue Lash, Blue L11, L13, Age 12 every day. Okay, so she ordered five pairs of lashes. So her order is done. Done, 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 done. Print. Oh, y'all, so I'm, I did six orders. I'm down to 44. I'm down to 44. Hopefully, um, I'll probably do a, a promotion. I'll do like a 10% off sale tomorrow, maybe. I do a percentage off for Sunday and Monday because it's like, you know, Father's Day, Juneteenth. Most people are going to be out celebrating. So I probably do like an automatic percentage off. But if you watch this video all the way through, thank you so much for joining me on this, you know, chit chat while I pack orders, um, business updates type of video. And you know what, y'all? I love these type of videos. Because these are the type of videos I know if people really watch my videos. Because I promise you, somebody going to ask me something that I stated in this video. Whether it's about um, 
whether it's about um, the vending machine, whether it's about um, what else did I discuss in here? What I got planned on doing, you know, somebody's going to ask something that I know for a fact I said in this video. And that's how I, I'll know, you know, if you watch my videos. That's how I'll know if you watch my videos because I'll be like, well, I just discussed that. So you didn't watch it. So my heart's hurting because you didn't watch. But if you watch this video all the way through, thank you so much. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. Um... It's just a mini chit chat packaging order with me business update video. I'll see y'all on the next video.